maybe in terms of the whole AI and machine learning in radiology and orthopedics, I, I think it's very exciting to be in this space. There's a lot of interest from the doctors. There's a lot of you know, research labs and companies who are trying to build solutions. And even in the regulatory regimes like the FDA or the European um, the medical device regulations, they're just learning how to deal with AI in medicine because we're automating things that have always been done by humans. And we're taking things which are subjective and trying to standardize them. So I think, you know, in this type of role as a CSO or, or any sort of clinical research in the AI space, you learn a lot and you're also kind of breaking new ground. So, you know, being in dialogue with the regulators, being in dialogue with the clinicians is really important for us to move forward to understand what works, what doesn't. And, and you have to kind of be, you, you can't be afraid to try something new. Because in, I think medicine is often very conservative on the one hand, and yet some of the most cutting edge technology is also being done in medicine. So it's kind of a, it, it's a funny field to be in where you're doing the most amazing stuff with some of the most con conservative um, philosophies because at the end, it's all about patient safety and patient health. So, and everything we do has to be focused on the outcomes for patients. Yeah. Well put. That's important. Thanks. What's like the main function or the most important function that you would you would like give advice about as being a, a CSO? Mm -hmm. um, a couple of things. Uh, communication sure. is very important. Uh, so the ability to communicate science and and to 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 uh, digest or, or 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 analyze you know research and 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 be able to translate that into things that are important for. Um, you know, building products for medical use, so medical devices, so software as a medical device, and also to, you know, the communication with external partners in a company setting, which is kind of new for me, being able to take that knowledge and translate it to other people in the company, whether it's the development team, the research, research and development team, or the product management, or even marketing or sales, because at the end of the day, what you're producing is something that's going to be used by clinical experts and medical experts. And they want to know, is your product safe? Is it effective? Where's the evidence? So we have to be able to translate that and communicate it throughout the organization and externally. Other than that, the other thing is project management and planning and yeah. being organized. Everybody says that. <laughs> I. There are people who are highly organized. I'm sure they exist and nobody is perfect, but you know, you have to try and do the best you can to organize things. And, and the, uh, the last thing as an engineer and a computer scientist, automation. Okay. It's such a great tool. As you know, we do a lot of data science, clinical analysis, we automate things. And I think it's a really, um, you have to do that to scale up uh, your processes, your analysis to do, to manage many studies like you mentioned. So how do you balance seeing your family? I mean, this, this travel trip, it's obviously very important in part of your career. You know, you must mm -hmm. have some, some very uh, compassionate family members and understanding oh. family, right? <laughs> yes, yes, I do. <laughs> My wife was, <laughs> was, was like, you're going away for two weeks. But I think, yes, of course, uh, as a researcher, I've traveled a lot in the last you know, 10, 15 years to conferences and, and collaborations. So of course you have to, it's, it's, a, it's a deal that you make with your family to yeah. travel for work. Have to kind of, I think this week I was definitely on, on uh, more duty at home <laughs> than <laughs> usual. I have to catch up a little bit. And <laughs> yeah. That's fine. You know, I, obviously I miss my kids. I miss my wife. Um, so yeah, but I think a good balance is okay. Traveling is, is fine as long as you can balance it with uh, your home life or your day-to-day -day responsibilities. Yeah.